hello everyone. Last week, we party with Bunsam the Involgin, saving Ashamane, Hyrik, Shadra and Razan from the Maw. The essence of the Loa of Kings is now within Vol'jin, and the former Shadowhunter is offered a rebirth by the Winter Queen. Who knows what fate might hold for old Vol'jin, but a nice bit that I missed out on. A big thank you to Insomnia from OutlandEU for letting me know on Instagram. There's apparently this small bit of dialogue when you visit the cave in Tirnaval, that same cave where we also took care of Yasera's seed. Hmm, Razan be smarter than I thought. Maybe one day they go be a new lower making deal with old Buan Samdi. Hmm? <laughs> this week, our attention is drawn to the Druss Frets. The time has come to drive them out of our lands once and for all. The Wild Hunt reports that Goraxar and the forces, they're deeply entrenched at the edge of Arden Wields. We take them on, their Captain Ingradriff included, while removing the protective runes that are shielding Goraxar. Fools! You are but insects before Gorok Zar. Strange. That does not sound like the Gorok Zar I remember. We will avenge the possessed here and now. For Ardenweald. Go on. I'll guard the bridge. More Walker. Strike down the barrier. What sorcery is this? Slay her minions. I will secure the wild seeds. Pathetic little creatures. You struggle in vain. Thros will engulf this realm. It is over, Gorak Tsar. No! You will pay for your insolence in blood. Ah! More Walker! Finish this! I cannot continue. Your infestation is at an end, monster. Wait! I sense something hidden from sight. A trust trick to distract us from their true target. Do you know where their leader has gone? Awakening. She seeks awakening. We will stop her, Aralon. I swear it. For Queen and Grove. For Queen and Grove. Wild Hunt! We ride for the Grove of Awakening! We're so sorry, Erlon. Night embrace you. Poor Erlon was missing for quite a bit, and now the Drust tricked us into taking him out. Even after all that he endured with having to sacrifice Ursuk, sacrifice his Grove, all of that, he still found a way to smile again, only to... There will be time for tears later. Let us go make the Drust pay. What? Our grief will have to wait. We need to hurry. Hey, Rust, block our path forward. I will see to that. We shall take to the skies! Make haste! Eternal slumber is all that awaits these vile fiends! Ha! Look at them fall! Leave no Drust alive! Wild Hunt, we ride! For Ardenweald! <laughs> The court of the Drust bent noble Erlon to their will and deceived us into confronting him. He's gone. Our foe now marches on the Grove of Awakening, conscripting your own subjects into their ranks. What are your orders? Loyal Erlon understood difficult choices, the need to make certain sacrifices. 
But there comes a time to fight for that which we hold most dear. Our sacrifices will not be in vain. Sound the horns. All of Ardenweald is called to the hunt. You will help lead the charge, mortal. Drive these invaders from my grove. Protect the forest's heart. Child of dreams, let no enemy pass into our sacred halls. You gave of your very essence to preserve my spirit. I shall defend Ardenweald until the last. With the Winter Queen's blessing empowering us, the Wild Hunt easily charges through the Drust forces and reaches the Grove of Awakening, the center of the Drust attention. The Drust believe that seizing the Grove of Awakening will bring them victory. They are mistaken. Moonberry, Hearn, Ilios, Zehad. Win back control of the Grove's anchors. Through our soul bond, I shall expel these intruders. As you command, my queen. Such selfish creatures. For Receiving nothing beyond your own desires. Yet we grow strong. While well, those who kneel before you are left to wither! One by one, we will claim every grove, every fay, every soul! The Drost could have been protectors of nature, caretakers of the cycle. You choose instead to steal and destroy such a waste. I almost pity you. Help me reclaim the anchor, mortal. It is done. I will hold this ground. Branches thrash as the forest howls. Cutting winds become a soothing breeze. Drift along to the others. Aid the wield. Two against one. Poor odds. For you. I will hold here. Go. Bright Sparkle? Garwin? Not you two. I can take it from here. Get going. I do not need the pity of a fading queen. You will watch as I claim your throne and crush the heart of the forest in my grasp. No, this ends now. Behold. The magic of my groves rises up against you. Come, mortal. We will dispose of this wretch. Vile queen! The trust will never be vanquished! The Drust effort of trying to conquer Ardenwields abused their cycle of rebirth to escape the domain of Thros. That has failed. The Winter Queen shows all that the cute, cuddly forest is not to be messed around with. As overpowered as their covenant ability is, so too is their queen, politely escorting all the Drust back home and empowering us to land the final blow upon Goraxar. Back at the heart of the forest, there's a massive gathering. Even Bonsamdi's mask gets to join the fun. 
We all grieve for Aralon and the others that are lost, but we also celebrate their lives, celebrate our victory. The trust might be defeated, but Arnawild will still need its protectors. The Jailer's power grows, and the Shadowlands face unrelenting peril. Stand ready, Huntress. Your strength will be needed in the days to come. Huntress Corain is the last one to join her soulbinds, but we also gathered up enough anima to fully restore the heart of the forest. The drought threat has been kicked out of the lands, but the drought is still very much a problem, and the powers of the Jailer, they're still growing. Time will tell what wolves in spirit might become in the future, and how they're gonna use Ysera's connection to Ardenweald. Is she now forever bound to the Shadowlands, or will she come with us in a potential storyline connected to the domain of life? connected to whoever the sister of the Wind Queen might be. Then there's still Tyrande out there, all alone charging through Torghast. Those that have conquered the Endless Halls by yourself, you know the pain that she must be suffering. The hunt for more Nightwaters of the past continues, plenty of stories still to be told. Then for ranking, as a lot of you ask me how I would rank the different Covenant campaigns. The Night Fae one, I'm gonna place at spot 2. It started off incredibly strong with the whole play, introducing ourselves and our story in a humorous way. Whoever designed it, they did a brilliant job, but then the campaign, it just went all over the place. The major threat of Ardenweald, that is the drought and the drust. But if you didn't play during battle for Azeroth, or maybe you did and you didn't pay a whole lot of attention, then the drust, they're underexplained. What are they trying to do in Ardenweald? Where did they come from? How did they get into the Shadowlands? I personally think that it's just not well enough explained, which is why we'll be doing the story of the Drust really really soon. But that major threat was not the only thing that we dealt with during the campaign. One week you'd focus on the Drust, but then the story shifted to Tyrande and the Night Warrior. Then the next week one Samdi comes around the corner, then it's the Drust again. It's a bit all over the place, which I really enjoyed. I find the campaign and the stories really interesting, but the overarching story was a bit hard to follow, and when I did focus on the Drust, it did it in a little bit of a boring way. The chapter where we tried to save one of the Masked Fae and then ultimately fail, even lose Aralon in the process. I did not enjoy that chapter. But then again, the beauty of the zone itself, the sadistic undertone of the Fae dialogue, Ysera being a part of it of course, and the interest of the story itself and where it might lead. It's a solid second place. Maybe third and swap with the Kyrian, eh, they're, they're pretty close in my opinion. But yeah, all of this is just my opinion though. By all means, share yours in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time. See ya!